Hey guys, it's Paul from the future. This video has been heavily redacted, bits taken out, you know, like what the Liberals do, just so I could squeeze it through the uh, the automatic checks of YouTube because a lot of things that are said in this video, YouTube do not want me to say. Uh, but I hope you can see through that. I, I was going to just delete this video totally, but I thought, no, no, I want to say this. I want this to go down on record because this is the truth. What's going on? They keep telling us the world is... You step outside, right? And you go outside of your front door and boom, you're going to... Everyone's just going to catch fire and incinerate in the, in the massive heat that's absolutely destroying the earth at this moment. Absolutely blowing your mind with the heat that's going on. It's raised so much that people just can't go outside. You cannot go outside your house, stay in your car with your AC on. You cannot do anything outside because the world is... Back in the day also, the weather people, <laughs> they actually realized and remembered or used their knowledge that there were seasons. There was spring, summer, fall, winter. And the reason why the weather would get warmer or colder was because of the seasons. So have a listen to this uh, weather forecast from the 80s and you'll hear her talk about the seasons. We never hear that anymore, do we? With those guys, again, they got the rain. Uh, you remember last week they had a little bit of flooding with a lot of rain. Well, they're still getting the rain. It was hazy in uh, Kansas City with a reading of 65 degrees. And moving further west, we did get a little bit more fair skies, 75 in Denver, Colorado. And further west in uh, Salt Lake City, 66 degrees. Again, these temperatures are cooler than what we were getting last week, but then I guess uh, falls here and winter's on its way. Yeah, that was uh, that's an eye-opener, eh? But nowadays, the unelected officials, uh, officials from the UN and, and from the WEF, this is how they talk about the weather. And for scientists, it is unequivocal. Humans are to blame. All this is entirely consistent with predictions and repeated warnings. The only surprise is the speed of the change. The era of global warming has ended the era the era of global boiling has arrived <laughs> but yeah there's a but reality you, we our reality is not the same as the made up reality of all these people who are telling us in the WEF and the WHO and the UN and everyone and and the governments the reality of what's going on in the world it, it's it's not matching up is it I committed that Canada would put a price on We did that. And despite stiff political opposition, the Supreme Court upheld it, and Canadians supported it in our last two elections. We know pricing is key to getting emissions down while getting innovation up and running. Our carbon price trajectory is one of the most globally ambitious ones. And it's rising to $170 a ton in 2030. Yeah, it's great for some people like Trudeau to put a price on carbon and, and, and pin everybody else with the same carbon brush and say that, hey, you guys, you guys out there driving your cars, you are the problem, you are the problem. But Polyev, Pierre Polyev in Parliament, he actually pulled uh, Trudeau to one side and questioned his carbon emittance and whether he would do anything about it. Let's have a watch of this. I'd like to welcome the Prime Minister back from his $80,000 vacation, which he got for free. He said, like most Canadians, friends welcomed him for that vacation. He took two, not one, but two private jets paid for by the taxpayer. Uh, burning a hundred tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. He wants to tax the heat and the food of Canadians. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each of the 100 tons of emissions that he put into the atmosphere as part of his $80,000 vacation? The Conservative leader has simply no plan to address this country, no plan to increase the resilience of our communities in the fight against
We will achieve our emissions reductions, all the while sending Canadians checks to help with the costs of rising, uh, rising prices. There are real solutions. When he says that emissions are driving up grocery prices, he put 100 tons of those emissions in the atmosphere for his personal vacation. This is high tax, high flying, high carbon hypocrisy. Yep. Meanwhile, Canadians in Edmonton are facing, we're facing minus 50 degree temperatures on which they were paying carbon taxes just to, to heat their homes and stay alive. Given that he gives himself a free vacation at other people's expense, will he at least allow Canadians to heat their homes without his tax? And it's not like that these, these people who um, estimate what the weather's going to be in the future, <laughs> I have to be careful what I say, you, you guys know that. It's not like that these people who estimate what the weather's going to be like in the future have got it wrong before, is it? Eh? You know, because like, you, we all remember the Ice Age, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. When Dr. Spock talked about the Ice Age in the 70s, yeah, we were all going to, the world was going to freeze over. Luckily, that didn't happen. We invented the motor vehicle and that helped, apparently, because just driving your car is what's causing all this trouble. If you could just stop driving your car and just let the few people who want to tell you what to do keep flying on their aeroplanes to make decisions, then we wouldn't have this problem. Just let the elites fly in jet planes all over the world and we will just walk everywhere. So today is the 10th of June. Um, I've got the heat on on my car and uh, it's 12 degrees. It's not boiling definitely not boiling it actually feels cooler than that it doesn't even i don't have ac in my car my my uh my car's done like three hundred and fifty thousand kilometers and the ac packed in about hundred thousand ago <laughs> but uh yeah i'm fine i just dropped my windows let the let the boiling air come in <laughs> while i'm driving along but yeah the, the reality of what's going on in I know this is just a rant, but you know, I just wanted to, to talk about this for a minute. The reality of what's actually really happening in the world, right, is is not the same as what the uh, the the weather <laughs> the weather gurus are telling us are going to be. Look at the maps. Look at the maps that they show. Twenty eight degrees used to be just you know regular regular temperatures now 28 degrees on a map it's bright red it's absolutely bright red on the map <laughs> you know he didn't get that like 10 15 years ago because they were trying to push the, the well even 20 years 30 years ago 40 years ago they were trying to push the um the 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 frozen tundras that are going to come to us so 28 degrees will be green and oh yeah get make sure you get a coat now 28 degrees is <laughs> anyway <laughs> sorry about this just uh no no normal programming will continue tomorrow <laughs> till next time it's raining now <laughs> it's boiling <laughs>